Hello, and welcome to potentially, well, no, almost inevitably, the final episode of my playthrough of Pokemon Blue, when we take on the Elite Four. And, you've seen my team, you know how it works. My team, as you can see, is shown here. It's almost perfect. There's a few which I would, you know... Wish I could change ever so slightly, but aside from that, my team is doing really, really well. And I'm going to use my tank Somnus to get me through the first member of the Pokemon Elite Four, which is, of course, Lorelei and her ice Pokemon. So, here we go. She's got a Dugong, so we're going to use Amnesia twice. Actually, in that case, if it's gone to sleep, I might as well use it three times. Now, I can use Thunderbolt, and Thunderbolt will take out, due to the water side of this, it will also really much hurt Cloyster. It really hurts Slowbro. And I'm faster than Slowbro, which is really surprising. I'm not switching out, because I want to keep this um, advantage, and the fact is, is that if I can, two, being able to two-hit... Jinx is pretty damn well good. Um, I need a full heal. Yep. Oh, damn. I don't know why that took so little off. But she's only using super potions, which implies... Okay. Uh, I'm highly surprised. I don't... Hmm. I don't know why I'm... Suddenly doing a lot less damage than I was. Oh, really? Of course. Through the confusion. There we go. Okay. Let's stop the confusion. There we go. And then the final one is Lapras. Again, it's got the water type. I'm really surprised. I don't understand why I'm doing so little damage at the moment. Um, okay. Well, that's not good. Um... Ice water, ice water. I need that to kill it, and it does. Okay, so. Wasn't the perfect round, but nonetheless, we've defeated Lorelei, and indeed, those ice Pokemon, as I said before, I don't have that decent a team against such things, but yeah, I'm very surprised that um, Snorlax started to do really, really poor damage against those guys. Anyway, so the next guy up, in this case, is Bruno, and he has fighting Pokemon, which means that we're going to... But he also has two Onyx, which means, rather than use a Grass and a Water type, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Sakixlot. Not because Sakixlot is very, very close to... Uh, uh, it's very, very close to getting... Uh, it's level 40, level to level 48, and get its maximum attack. But we can swap to Lepidopter for the fighting Pokemon. Fighting Pokemon are known for having pretty weak special, as Hitmonchan demonstrated there, as Hitmonlee will demonstrate here. Another one. Hopefully, I can take out his second Onyx in two hits. That's one. That's two. And he's got a Machamp. Um, and I didn't necessarily mean to keep it, uh, using the X team is clever, so I'm going to use double team and evade it, his stuff. I'm going to use junk, you can see how much damage that does, oh, that does decent damage. There we go, three in a row, and he was a bit silly there, using, um, he was using, uh, focus energy when he'd already, um, used it before, and obviously focus energy only has the capability of being used once. Anyway, so now we have Agatha and her ghost Pokemon. And now this is where things get complicated, but hopefully this should be where Zazura comes along and shows me why I bothered with a sand shrew to sand slash. Dig, that was very clever, to be honest. Swapping to Golbat, but using Haze is not particularly 
for it again. Oh, a rock slide is hit. I forget that. Anyway, so Nightshade does the same amount of damage as the um, level of the Dengar, which is obviously just 56. Um, and he's slashed. Just want to see. Okay, that's good. Please, please fight through it. Yes. Okay. So that's another one now. So now we've got Haunter, and because I'm confused, I'm going to swap to Norbert. And I'm going to use Earthquake. And that is a crit. He's got uh, Arbok, is probably one of the toughest Pokemon. But if she's going to use Super Potions at that health, it means I can just Earthquake it away. And then we've got Gengar again. And I'm going to try and keep it with this. And it works, that worked really nicely. And. Oh, that was. Why am I using Slash? Very silly. Um, but, yeah, obviously, normal doesn't affect Ghost. But, obviously, uh, she was also rather silly. She used D Dream Eater when I was not asleep, which is a very silly move. So, we're going to use Max Potion on Zazura. And now we head into the long path up to Lance and his dragon types. And for this, we're going to start off with Summonus again. The reason why is um, Meditate can really help against these guys. So we're going to see how far we can get. So he starts off with Gyarados, and obviously, um, but obviously he needs to recharge after using Hyper Beam, which means I essentially get a free hit in. Uh, well, a free amnesia up, which is very nice. Um, but what this means, obviously, the annoying thing about these guys is they have high. I'm going to use double edge. It should take it out. It does. I obviously get hit with the recoil, but it takes them out, which is the important thing. I'm not going to swap to set kicks a lot because I reckon if I use meditate, this could very much help this group. Okay, so two agilities, despite already being faster than me, this is not that clever um, management by you know, Drake, or Lance, sorry. So that's two down, and we now have high the room for high jump kick, which we will shove on, which is actually probably the best fighting attack in the game. Our adapter, we can hopefully... Re oh. Flinched, really annoying. But I can use a hyper potion and he uses hyper beam, which will knock me out, so that wasn't clever. Um, so we've got what rock flying. Um, I'm going to swap to Zazura and we're going to try and hit it with some rock slides because that is super effective and should and is a two hit KO. And now we've got a fight are uh, the final, the flying, the dragon flying Dragonite. So I think I'm going to keep in the Zura. Keep using Rock Slide, it's super effective, but um, it is a, you'll obviously need to recharge now, so uh, let's see how much Slash does. Okay, and now I'm going to use a Max Revive on Somnus. He uses Hyper Beam, which is very silly of him. Oh no, I forgot in this. I forget. I forget in this gen that um, okay, I can use Double Edge a few, fair few times, and this will actually do sort of keep nipping that away. Um, I'm going to swap to Lepidopter, and of course he goes to Hyper Beam, and just with the way the hyper beam is set up in this game. Uh, okay, well, of the way the hyper beam is set up in this game is that if it finishes the enemy off, you don't have to recharge, which has obviously changed in later gens. But nonetheless, I can use Seismic Toss and Norbert gets the victory. So, he says that we are, but we're not quite the champion because we have read to defeat beforehand. And I'm not going to do what I've done far too many times before, which is completely forget to um, heal up before the main battle. So we're going to heal up to Zura, 
we're gonna heal up. So it kicks a lot. Uh, I suddenly realized I have no other revives, which is very interesting. Um, which means a full restore for the kick slot. We need a max potion on Somnus. We need to gonna have to get through this without Lepidopter, which is okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to be a bit, obviously, a bit more careful. We need uh, an elixir on Somnus just because, obviously, uh. I think I was running very much low on Thunderbolts, and Thunderbolts will be very handy if this works. Okay, so that's just the same set of uh, words, and now, so, here we go, red. This could be tough. So he's got a Pidgeot, and we're going to use Amnesia to start off with, because he often starts with Whirlwind. He did two Whirlwinds in a row, which is not clever by his standards, and um, there we go. So a victory. I'm not going to change out, because Alakazam, I'm going to use Double Edge, because I think that's my best of best... Oh, it takes me out with a Psybeam. Um, I think Cordyceps is too slow, which is obviously stupid, because that's what Cordyceps is meant to be taking out. Nonetheless, uh, we're going to go for flamethrower. Got to go for flamethrower. Nope. Slash. Ooh, so close. If only I'd use slash the first time around, that would have been a lot more sensible. Um, he wants a ride on, so I want to go. Kicks a lot, and that should be two hits. Oh, nearly. He's going to heal up, so I'm going to heal up. So we can use a max potion on Nor. Uh, max potion on Norwood. Oh no, he did not heal up. He obviously don't doesn't feel like his ride on is worth saving. So he's got an Arcanine, which is sending out. So we meet it with Azura and Dig should take it out. Oof, does not. That's worrying. Okay, another one. He's now got Executor. I'm going to go to Norbert as uh, has type advantage. The big thing we don't want is to be hit by a, hi a hypnosis at this point. A slash takes him out and he's down to Blastoise. Um, I'm going to swap to Cordyceps because I, he probably has Ice Beam. But if I hit the sorry Blizzard, uh, if I'd hit the Spore, that would have been cool. Um, Okay, so let's think water, which means ground is going to be pretty useless against it. Water flying is going to be pretty useless. Okay. Essentially, you need to decide which Pokemons I'm using as sort of, you know, sacrifices as I did that. And now I'm going to do double team. Okay. I feel like I want to heal up. I don't know what it will do. Okay, I want to use double team again. That gives me up two. And now I want to use meditate three times. And he's hit with the hydro pump, and I'm not dead. Hydro pump two. That's not done much. Not done as much as I was hoping for. But then again, his um, his uh, what you call it was not doing a lot of damage. So. Just by attritional, attritional methods, um, it was not, certainly not the most stylish victory you'll ever see, but we have defeated Red, and after all that work to become League Champ, his reign is over already. He says it's not fair, but made it very, very well. With just the two Pokemon remaining, I didn't, when I said I liked a challenge, I guess I didn't really mean it like that, in the sense of giving myself only, I think, five revives in all but yeah so uh, professor oak has randomly appeared to tell us he's how much we've grown since we first left with charmander and now he goes in to say <sighs> apparently his grandson did not treat his pokemon with trust and love and he will never become champ again and obviously we then get to go into the pokemon hall of fame 
So here we go, my team, Somnus, level 49, normal, a Snorlax. We have Lepidopter, my level 46, Butterfree. We have Cordyceps, my level 47, Parasect. We have Sir Kixalot, my level 48, Hitmonlee. We have Zazura, my level 48, Sandslash. And finally, we have Norbert, my level 49, Charizard. So, it's been fun. Apparently, it's taken me 46.45. Obviously, it has not. Uh, get a decent, get a good, very good rating um, on our Pokédex. And we'll zip through all the credits because there's no point in keeping them here. Um, so yeah, I think thank you very much for watching. Um, that last little battle was a bit tense, and uh, I guess hopefully um, this has whetted your appetite for more Pokemon playthroughs by me. Um, the next thing, obviously, we need to. We haven't quite finished here. There will be one more thing to do, which is uh, go into Cerulean Cave and see if we can catch that elusive Pokemon 150. But um, once that is done, um, we're pro I'm probably going to start doing two playthroughs concurrently. I'm going to have um, a hack playthrough um, on one side and I'm going to have a monotype playthrough on the other so yeah I think my monotype playthrough um, I think I'm starting off with a water type playthrough on Pokemon Red so we'll have to see um, hope you enjoy that and the hacks um, I'll obviously be sure to leave links when I um do which uh which hacks I'm talking about, but I think um the two ones based around this generation at least are the Team Rocket Edition and very importantly you've also got a uh, Pokemon 151, which was I found recently and is a really fun, if very difficult, playthrough. Um which allows you to capture all the different types of Pokemon, and you need to do quite a lot of grinding just to uh, sort of keep ahead of the the rate. And I mean, your rival ends up with you know six level ninety nine Pokemon. What more can you say? So anyway, again, I will see you on the next time when we wrap this all up with Cerulean Cave. But until then, hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, and there's a new Pokemon champ in town. I'll see you next time.